Why, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another Norco Achievement Guide. And this time, I'm going to be showing you where and how to unlock all 23 nodes for the mind map in order to get the Master of Confusion Achievement. Now, what you're going to see throughout the entirety of the game with dialogue and all sorts of things like that, you're going to see a lot of uh, mind map updating. Uh, now, that is basically, there's loads of, like, story and Lots of story related stuff going on right here, but there are 23 specific nodes that we need to unlock Like I said to get the achievement They may think it is easy is, You may think it is as just easy as going through the game and just talking to people But some of these can easily quite be missed so uh, Literally as we start a new game, then you're just gonna go through this incredibly Intro Yes, the incredibly intro, which, uh, you know, that makes total sense. Um, but as you, as soon as the intro is finished, what's going to happen is we are going to get our first node from th the very start, which is going to be K, i.e. you yourself. And it's the one with the weird face that doesn't actually have a face. So once we begin properly, we will have uh, K slash you, as I said, right in the top left hand corner. That is where you can find, that is the first node, obviously very unmissable. So scroll over to the top left. And then what you're going to do to get Blake's uh, mind node up, you need to open up the mind map here, choose every dialogue, and choose every dialogue option on the K slash U node. So just go ahead, choose every dialogue option, mm -hmm. and then Blake will unlock. And as you'll be able to see, in fact, you didn't even have to do that. You can just pick the one, and Catherine, which is your mother, and Blake, who is your brother. So they will both unlock. Uh, now, when we do interact with all of the dialogue options uh, related to you, the Ditch Man should then appear. So you should get four pretty much immediately as we begin the game. But again, the way that we do that is choosing every dialogue option on the K slash yourself node. Um, sometimes, again, sometimes it may be a bit finicky and it may not work. You may have to unlock um, one of the dialogue options from either your mother or Blake as well. Um, but for the most part... Just uh, dialogue option, choosing every dialogue option on K will normally smash out the Ditch Man. And there she blows, Mary. So the Ditch Man appears. So, so, like I said, from the very start, then you should have four, right? And in the immediately immediacy. So, once we have finished that and you do the mini game with the monkey, what we can do is basically uh, you'll get the Primal Steer achievement. And then what we can do is, if you press the right trigger, you can go into your local map, which is at the very bottom, or you can scroll over to it with your cursor, head into the living room, and interact with the photo album on the table. There's only one photo album on the table, so you can't really go wrong with that. And it says photo album at the bottom as well. Comes in very handy, that one. So what we're going to do is, if you interact with all the dialogue options that you can, so basically just looking at it, you will unlock Blue, King Pierre, and Duck, King Pierre, Pierre Gasly. Uh, but yes, you, so you should unlock Blue, King Pierre, and Duck, plus you'll get an achievement as well. But that should already put you on 7 out of 23 mine nodes. That's 25% already done. Right, uh, ju still very early on in the game, what we can do, in fact, if immediately from where we just were, head into the kitchen and then head into the backyard. We're going to get another couple of mine nodes very, very quickly. So first of all, we're going to get one for talking to Million the Robot in the backyard. So once you talk to her, the mind map will update, and that will be your eighth one. And then after the long, seemingly long, long conversation, what we're going to do is head into our mind map once again, which goes to the top left-hand corner right there. Eventually, we'll just try that one again. Uh, so we're <laughs> heading into your mind map. What you need to do then is, after talking with Million for the first time, we're going to open it up. We're going to select Catherine slash Mommy. And choose who was was conducting research, right? For who? So select your mother. What's conducting research for who? And that's going to be the client. That'll be um, node mind map number nine. And then immediately then, before we head out, staying in the backyard, if we have a look at the very background, you can see where it says refinery. Just click on that one, and that is the shield mind map updated as well. So that's the shield node. So that should all be good. Right, a little bit, a tiny little bit uh, carrying on. What we're going to do is head out of the house, go to Apple Street, and head to Dimes Discount. And what you're going to see 
when we are going to, we're going to basically try to go into the store here on the right hand side now when you go into the store what's going to happen is the homeless uh crack headed looking undertaker from wwe man he's looking pretty bad after retirement but he is going to appear and all that we have to do for this one is just talk to troy i'm not sure if you specifically i don't think you have to specifically ask him anything but i think after just talking to troy for a little bit the mind map will update and that will be your next uh proper node <laughs> Right then, so the next one, when we are on our way to Sapi Paperbacks, uh, after purchasing the fuse in the shop, so not too long after, uh, after the fight and the talk with Troy, you're just going to speak with Million, make sure to talk to Million, um, and I believe that just exhausting all the dialogue options there will give you the Reports of Construction node. So again, this will be after you purchase the fuse, not that, pretty much immediately after you've just spoken to Troy, so again, this is not too far in the not too distant future. But just speaking a million here on the bike will give us the mind map update. And then we've already got one more left to do in Act 1. And this is pretty much after talking with Million on the right of Sarpies here. So on the same ride, uh, after we are done, we can dismiss this. Thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Robert. The Robert. What we're gonna do is go into our mind map once again. Again, of course, top left hand corner. And if you've been following along, you should have 50% of the nodes as well. But speak to Catherine. So select your mom. And then say, was conducting research in the lake. So was conducting research in the lake. And that'll get the something in the lake node. And that should be the final one for Act 1. And then on to Act 2 we go. Or something or other like that. So on to Act 2 it is. And this one, for the majority, a lot of them pretty much just begin right here in the Floodgate Tavern. So what we're going to do then is head to the top left-hand corner during Act 2. Should be pretty much at the very beginning of Act 2. And we're going to head into the Floodgate Tavern. Now, what would be easier is to basically just exhaust all the dialogue with LeBlanc here. The Mexican-looking Joker on the left-hand side right here. Um, but I'll obviously tell you exactly which dialogue options to choose and everything. So the first one is, when you speak with LeBlanc, first of all, you'll get that one. Interact with the TV, just to the top left of LeBlanc's head. And that should get you the second ones. That should be LeBlanc and Lucky nodes. And after the long, quite a lot of these are quite long dialogue scenes. So after this bit has finished, he's going to ask for a beer. You then speak to Bus, Gus, <laughs> Bus the Garkeep. Gus the Barkeep and say, I... I need a beer for your boy. <clears throat> now, what you need to do then is, so after you have bought LeBlanc his first beer, you then need to talk with him and choose all the dialogue options. So make sure to choose all the dialogue options until you see that the mind map has updated. So again, everything that you can, just choose every single dialogue option that you can, and that will be the bloodline node. Next up, again, he's gonna want another one, so we're gonna buy LeBlanc a second beer, and, Obviously, what we're going to do then is speak with him. And once again, we're going to choose all the dialogue options. So choosing all the dialogue options here will unlock Laura St. Clair and Thomas St. Clair. Uh, now, the reason being, like I said, to unlock Laura, you need to talk with him and choose all the options. To, for Thomas, you need to talk with LeBlanc about Laura and ask who is the father. So when you see that dialogue option there, it was who's her father you will get Thomas St. Clair as well as Laura St. Clair for basically exhausting all the dialogue options. So, can be slightly confusing these, but it's not too bad. <clears throat> so, after all, he's going to want some grub because, you know, might as well rob us while we're here. So, after we've bought LeBlanc, the two beers and a meal, we are going to select Duck from our mind map and basically choose every single dialogue option. So, that one should get you one, two, three, four, five, six... So you should have six extra nodes right now just from Act 2 alone. But like I said, uh, Duck is basically a blurred out guy on the right hand side of the mind map. If for whatever his, uh, for whatever reason his dialogue options are not coming up, just interact with um, every other node and just quickly go through their dialogue options. It may take a, a minute or so, but uh, that is the way that personally I got it to work. So, uh, so hopefully... 
doing that will unlock Duck right here. And when you do that, you just need to go through each and every single one of his options to get the dimes. There it is. So when that happens, um, once we've done that, then the mind map update will uh, be dimes. And then we can crack on. Immediately then, we can go straight to dimes. And we're going to go inside the house. Spookalicious, right? Red. <laughs> So, what we're going to do then, uh, we are going to turn on the lamp, which will be on the left-hand side. There it is. And then we're going to talk with Duck in his house, and we are going to ask about the head drive. So, to get the head drive node unlocked, again, we need to speak to Duck and ask about the head drive. That'll be a uh, dialogue option. So, again, like I said, it's pretty much easier to just go through every single dialogue option that you possibly can in order not to miss this one. Uh, but to get this first one again, like I said... There it is, second option down, you need to interact with the head drive option. Now, the next um, node that we need is still speaking with Duck, and it's called Fake Ring. And to do this, we need to ask, did you attend her funeral? So, uh, like, again, you don't have to speak with every single dialogue option, but obviously it's always worth doing just in case you think uh, that you may miss out. But basically, the next thing, like I said, that we need to ask is, did you attend her funeral? Uh, there it is. So it should be the second option now. So did you attend her funeral? Followed by the ring she wore around her neck was fake. And that's how you get the fake ring one. So the, the ring she wore around her neck was fake? Question mark? Oh my god, you questioned the mark. But that would be the fake ring one. And then, hilariously, we've only got two left. So you might think there might have been a hell of a lot going on. But there's actually not. So, to get the penultimate one, eventually we are going to get to the Shield HQ. After a lot of fights, and we speak to Moonface Chunky Nose. Yeah, that'll do. So, Moonface Massive Nose, and he is just going to let us in. To get the Garrett node, all we have to do after we enter the Shield HQ, we're just going to talk with the Balcony Crowd. Uh, the Balcony Crown, sorry, in the lobby of the Balcony Crowd, Crown, whatever. So basically, everyone at the very top here, the Balcony Crowd, interact with them, and that will eventually get you the Garrett node as well. And then we've only got one left to get in Act 3. So here we are in Act 3 then, and we are back outside Ducky's house. Now basically what's going to happen is you're going to have to fight these uh, two... Douche nozzles, as it were, you know, somebody who looks like they've never seen a real pair of boobs in their entire life. Um, but I'm just joking, they're obviously hardcore knights. Once we have finished them, what we can do then is just head into Duck's house. And, you know, you should know, I mean, if you've been playing up till now, you should know exactly how to do that. Now, as soon as we interact with Le Blugolo right here, just interact with the notes on the desk. That will get you the sunken head um, mind map node, and that should be the 23 out of 23, all done, and this is where you should get the achievement. So, it is a nice and early one, quite early into Act 3 as well, or roughly about halfway, something like that. But this should now get you the Master of Confusion achievement, uh, it may take a while to pop, but that is how you get all 23 out of 23. I know, again, like I said, sometimes it can be confusing, because you'll see mind map update constantly, and quite a lot, but there you are, the main 23, that you need to get in order to get that achievement. So, there we go then, guys and gals. So, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the game. I hope you've enjoyed the guides so far that I've put out. And, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Big love.